Okay, here's a problem solving video for problem 5.3. says find V0 uh, using linearity and the assumption that V0 equals 1 volt. And there's our circuit. And what we're going to do is we will assume V0 equals 1 volt. And we're going to work back through the circuit and calculate, I called it Vs in the circuit. And then by linearity, we know that we can scale uh, the result to find out if the input voltage is 20, what is V0? So let's look at our circuit. We've assumed that um, V0 is 1 volt. And let's start just applying Kirchhoff's laws and Ohm's law and those kind of relationships. So for instance, if we look, the current in this part of the circuit is one fourth of a milliamp. Okay. And since that one fourth of a milliamp also flows through the 2K resistor, then we've got a voltage here of 0.5 volts. Okay. Now, we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law around this loop to now find this voltage. And if you look at this loop, the voltage here has to be 1.5 volts to satisfy Kirchhoff's voltage law for that loop. So that also tells us then that this current, we'll call it uh, I3, I3 is also one quarter of a milliamp. Okay, now, uh, if we apply Kirchhoff's current law down at this node at the bottom, then we know, for instance, uh, this current we'll call I4. I4 is going to be one quarter milliamp plus one quarter milliamp to be one half of a milliamp. That also tells us in that this voltage is going to be 1.5 volts. And then uh, that's going to tell us that the voltage across this resistor, the 12K resistor, by Kirchhoff's voltage law now, is 3 volts. Okay. So also then, this current I5, if we look, then I5 is 3 divided by 12K. Well, it's 1 quarter of a milliamp as well. So now, if we apply Kirchhoff's current law at this node, we can find this current I6. Okay. So I6 is going to be uh, one quarter here, one quarter here, and then another one quarter milliamp. So it's going to be three quarters of a milliamp. And that's then going to tell us that the voltage across this resistor is going to be three volts. Now, by Kirchhoff's voltage law, if we go around this loop, Kirchhoff's voltage law is going to tell us that the voltage across the 8K resistor is 6 volts. So then the current flowing through it we'll call I7. I7 is 6 divided by 8K is 3 quarters of a milliamp. Then if we apply Kirchhoff's current law at this node, solve for the current I8. I8 is 3 quarters plus 3 quarters to give us 3 halves of a milliamp. Then that's going to tell us that this voltage is 6 volts. So then that's going to tell us by Kirchhoff's voltage law that Vs is equal to 12 volts. Okay, so uh, if Vs 
is equal to 12, I get V0 is equal to 1 volt. So now if we go back to our original circuit and says, well, suppose Vs is 20, okay, by linearity, then V0 would be 20 over 12 times the 1 or 5 thirds of a volt. 